Hi guys, and welcome back to the blog. Today's video is going to be on my Tiffany collection. Yay, guys, it's on my Tiffany collection. I have did, recorded this video twice, guys, but let me tell you what happened. The stand that I have, I don't know what's wrong with this stand, guys. I cleaned it. It was It's not an old stand, um, but I cleaned it. I used the lead brush on it. I used the scotch tape on it. And when I looked at the video, it was still linted. And I was like, I can't show them this Tiffany collection on this linted stand. So I ran in the back and got me a um, table napkin and I covered it up. And that's how we're going to do this video. And we're going to have fun presenting this video. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is not going to be the first necklace that I want to show you guys. I like to start off with the choker necklace, okay? So overlook the stand because I had to cover it, but we're going to do this video. All right, here's your first necklace, guys. Here's your first Tiffany necklace. This is your um, choker necklace. It is a choker necklace with a heart-shaped tag. It has the bar here. And that's how the necklace is secured. You run the bar through the loop and the necklace is secured. Look at the beautiful chain on this necklace, guys. Very bulky and thick and beautiful. I love this chain, guys. I like this necklace, guys. It wears extremely well. Let me tell you something real quick, okay. When I do these requested videos, three things that they request. Gigi, show us the merchandise. Here is the merchandise. Talk a little bit about it. I talk a little bit about it and tell us how much it costs. Now, let me say this to you guys. I can understand people wanting to know how much something costs. Because let's say you go to the mall, any store in the mall, and you see something you sincerely like. The first thing you want to know is how much does it cost? How much does it cost? The cost will determine if you're going to purchase it or if you're going to leave it in that store. <laughs> the cost will deter you or it will influence you. Trust me, it will. I've looked at some items and seen some pieces that was so nice, but I refuse to pay the price for them at that particular time. You know me and my husband, we are always waiting on a sale. And if it goes on sale, we are right there. We are right there. Boom, we jump on like a Jaguar. It's on sale, let's get it, you know? So that's why I do what I do when I have these requested videos. I talk about, I show you guys the merchandise. I talk about the merchandise and I give the pricing, okay? So back to the video. But anyway, yes, guys, this is, turn it back over. This is the first piece of Tiffany that I want to show you guys right here. These are called tags. This is considered a type of a choker necklace. This is the grab bar here, all right? This piece may run between $550 and $600 in a retail store. All right, guys. Now, there are places, like I always tell you guys, there are other places. Poshmark, Trader C, The Real Real, all those places. And if a, if a product is over $500, they will authenticate it for you, okay? All right, guys. So, that's your first piece. It's a Tiffany necklace, all right? All right. The second piece is also going to be a Tiffany necklace, guys. So, let me get it together. Let's turn it around. Let's turn it around the right way, guys. There he goes. You ready? That's your second piece. This is also a type of a choker Tiffany necklace. This tag is an oval tag. All of your Tiffany jewelry should say return to Tiffany. Okay? Like somebody's going to return a very expensive necklace if they lose it or find it. No, they're not. They find something like this, they're going to wear it. So, huh? Good try, Tiffany, but no, they're not going to return it. They're going to wear this. But this is the second Tiffany necklace, guys, that I want to show you right here. This is the oval tag. This is the beautiful chain. And look at the lobster claw. You see how big? You see how big the lobster claw is? That claw 
really prevents you from losing this necklace, guys. All right? This one here will probably run. You might can get this one close to the same price and maybe a little bit more, maybe about $100 more. So you may be able to get this between $350 and $400 from a retail store now. Like I said, you can check those other sites and see if they have them. And if they do, purchase them that way, guys. All right? The next piece I want to show you guys is a Christmas box. It is in Tiffany Blue. Tiffany Blue is Alakai's mom. Her name is Ilse. Favorite color. We're like, what's your favorite color? Tiffany Blue. She likes Tiffany Blue, guys. Okay. Now, let me talk to you before I show you this piece. A couple of weeks, I'm sorry, a couple of days ago, what, maybe four, four days ago at the most, Georgia had a tornado. Yes, they had a tornado. And I live down an extremely long um, fairway. The tornado came down the fairway, guys. It did. It was probably about three or four miles away from our home. Yes. But let me tell you something, guys, okay? An hour before the tornado came into our area, I was standing in our front door just looking out. And it was getting darker now. It was daytime, but it was getting darker and darker and darker by the minute. So I stood in that door and I said, Father God, in the name of your son Jesus, protect us, Lord. I am asking you in advance to protect all those that I love, to cover us in the blood of Jesus, to be our shield and our buckler, Father God, to be our high tower and fight our battles. That was my prayer, and I probably said that prayer maybe three or four times. My husband didn't even know it. I was walking around this house praying for God to cover us, you know? And I didn't want Kasai to be afraid. So, and it'll say, she had texted me and said, I'm on my way to get out of the kind. They're letting us off early because of the weather. And I know she was afraid, so I was praying for God to cover her. I called my daughter and said, get home. Leave that job and go home, you know, because it's a bad storm out here. So she was like, Mom, I'm getting off, and I'm getting ready to go home. So, guys, every day that we wake up is a gift. Every day that God allow us to get up and put on our shoes and get out of the bed and brush our teeth and, and bathe and smile and eat, Walk outside is a gift. So this particular item here is no longer going to be sitting in my closet in a box because it looks like a Christmas present. Every day is a gift. My husband gave this to me as a gift, and I'm going to start wearing it as much as I want to for a gift or as a gift. So your next item is the Tiffany Blue Gift Box. There it is, guys. This, a lot of people take this um, tag or pendant and they place it on their Tiffany bracelets. I decided to put it on a Tiffany chain and create a necklace out of it. But it is the blue Tiffany gift box, guys. And yes, like I said to you guys, I am going to wear this whenever I get ready, wherever I want to wear it. It's beautiful, but you see it. You see, you guys, it looks like a Christmas present. It looks like a gift. You know, it could be considered an anniversary gift, a birthday gift, you know, Christmas, whatever. Valentine's, a wifey gift. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be put in a box and classified as a piece for the holiday season. No, you can wear this whenever you want to guys and it is a very beautiful piece of tiffany all right guys all right now the next tiffany necklace is is what i did i took two of my tiffany tags and i put it on one chain because i just wanted a different little look you know but that piece i'm sorry guys that piece there huh, that tiffany box can run you about three hundred dollars three fifty by itself all right the next piece, like I said, is two tags that I put on one necklace myself. This is the gold 
heart shaped tag and this is the silver oval tag here and you see on the back they say return to tiffany right let me turn it back over because it flipped itself over but this one gold tag guys this one gold tag within itself can run you at least four or five hundred dollars yes thank goodness when we got ours right thank goodness yeah been over woo wee 20 plus years for some of these pieces guys but yeah that's two tags on one tiffany chain guys that's the oval tag and that is the in silver and that is the heart shaped tag in gold all right and this is what i gave my granddaughter um gabriella we call her middle name is mina we call her mina this is what i gave her for her 17th birthday something like this exactly like this so i'm hoping that she's enjoying her tiffany necklace from her grandma angie that's what they say grandma angie grandma angie i'll be like yes can we say show you this grandma angie i love those kids i love all of my grandkids i have 10. where's it 12. i don't even know i don't lost count of my own grandbabies uh, it's a little smudgy that's okay my fingers are touching the jewelry guys this is the first Tiffany bracelet. Oh, you can see it, I hope. This is the oval Tiffany bracelet here, guys. That's the oval Tiffany bracelet. It says return to Tiffany. There's the huge lobster claw right there. And then I'm gonna sit my little makeshift stand down that I covered up. <laughs> I'm going to buy me some new stands. But I don't know how we got all that lint on it. It just sits in the beauty room. That was crazy to me. But this is the oval Tiffany bracelet, guys. There's that nice, thick, bulky chain. There's that beautiful, beautiful lobster claw. And there's the oval Tiffany bracelet, guys. You guys know I wear this one and two more on my arms all the time. They never, ever come off, but they came off so that I can show them to you guys in this video. As soon as this video is over, my husband will be putting them back on. <laughs> he will be putting them back on, guys. I promise you that. Here is the second one. That's always on my arm, guys. And once I can straighten it out, I'm going to tell you a little story real quick, okay? All right, there it goes. Okay? This little thing is kind of slick. All right, this is my second Tiffany bracelet that I'm always wearing. It's the heart shape. This is called a tag, guys. So this is the heart shape tag in high gray sterling silver. Same big, huge, beautiful lobster claw, if you can see it. And then the chain, guys. There's the chain. Let me give you guys a little quick story, okay? It's probably been 10 years ago. My sister, um, Jennifer Lynn, was living in Chicago. So her and my husband got together to surprise me with a trip to go visit her. And so I was shocked. I was like, okay, this is so cool. So I'm gonna go visit her. So pack up my luggage, get everything together, and you know, head to Chicago get to the airport she picks me up get in the car she lives in the suburbs we get in her car and we head out and we get to her house throw my suitcases down um get all my gear in order and we head out on the town we all up in gucci and prada louis vuitton and we had garrett's popcorn you know <laughs> and then we're gonna get on the boat you know where Al capone was bringing the liquor um, into the city of Chicago, you know, just having so much fun. So the end of the day, we get tired. We go back to her house. We sit down, laugh and eat, have us a little bitty small glass of wine because I'm not a drinker. And it was time to go to bed a few hours late. And I'm kind of tired, you know, from the flight. But I wanted to have fun with my sister. So I get in her bed. She sleeps in the other room. She give me her bedroom. I'm in the bed and I guess I fall asleep from being tired. And my sister's test tells me the next morning, she said, gee, she said, I heard all this clink, clink, clinging and clink, clink, clinging. She was like, 
what in the heck is that? But we were not concerned about anybody trying to break in because she's upstairs and she lived in a, had lived in a very nice community. <laughs> she said when she came over there to her bedroom to see what that clinking and clanging was, it was my jury. <laughs> She said your arms were swinging and they were going click, 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 click. She said, gee, I don't even know how you slept like that. I said, sis, you got to remember, I've had this stuff on over 20 plus years. I'm used to it. Maybe my ears have adapted to the sound, but I'm used to it and I never take them off. The only time I've ever taken them off was maybe two times. One time when I went through the airport, another time I'm like, just put me in a machine, you know? <laughs> Let me clink clink in the machine. But I took them off one time at the airport and one time when I was in the hospital. Other than that, they've always been on. So let's get back to it, guys. That's my story about the jury clinging all night and my sister trying to investigate what's going on. <laughs> all right, guys, this is the next bracelet. This is your Tiffany heart-shaped blue tag, guys. This is the blue tag, Tiffany, here. You see it? This one has, oh, I got a story for you guys about this. You guys remember when I was telling you that one of my Tiffany pieces broke? Well, this was the piece that broke, guys. This was the piece. And I got something so funny to tell you guys about this. All right. Um, I was in my room lotioning up, right? And I heard something say, cling, cling, cling. I'm like, what in the heck is that? It was this bracelet, guys. It had broke. And I'm going to show you how and why it broke. This has beads on it. Adjustable, movable beads. Okay? You see the beads moving around? Can you see them? They'll move around the beads. All right? This bracelet here is beautiful, but this was the problem. Can you see it? This is thin sterling silver wire some type of a wire it's braided because you can i can feel the braiding it is braided and it's thin it's strong but it's thin but i guess over the years it finally wore out when it wore out guys it broke and the bees went everywhere guys the bees went everywhere so i'm down on my knees struggling trying to find the beads, okay? I counted 18 beads, but apparently it must have been between maybe between 20 or 21, maybe 22 beads because I didn't find all of them. I still don't know where they are to this day. And I have searched my room thoroughly, so I don't know where those beads were, fell and ran to or whatever they rode to, but I couldn't find them all. But we still decided to take my bracelet to our guy, we have a jeweler, and ask him to fix it. And that's what he did. He repaired this for me, and, I, and he placed it back on my wrist, and I've been wearing it since. But let me show you something. Don't laugh. Look, you see there's a lack? Because that's where the other bees apparently were, guys. Now, I'm sure there had to be some lack in there in order not to be tight on your arm. Because this is probably a size six and a half or seven bracelet in length. My wrists are small. Yeah. But this is the one that broke the, <laughs> that we had to get repaired, guys. And I got it repaired without the bees and missing bees. Don't matter to me. I just wanted my bracelet repaired. And that's it, guys. This one here, maybe two, three hundred dollars. I don't know. Maybe that much. Yeah. All right, I have two more items to show you on the Tiffany video, and that would be that. The first item, the next item, not the first, but the next item are the love knots. These earrings are called love knots, guys. I haven't had them clean in about six months. They're not too bad, but they shine so beautifully when you have them professionally clean. You can buy that little cleaner from Walmart. It doesn't do this type of jewelry justice. You have to take them to a professional cleaner to have them clean. But these are my Tiffany Love Knots earrings, guys, okay? And sterling silver. The last pair, I have to bend down because I dropped one, guys. All right. 
the last pair that I have from Tiffany are these guys. Pearls. Yes, Tiffany do pearls, guys. Look at the shape. They're kind of like dome shape. You see it? They have a dome shape. Do you see, guys? They're pretty. They're very, very pretty. But they're dome shaped earrings. And I love these pearls, guys. They were so pretty in your ear. You know, people like me, I like to wear. Now, I'm going to tell you something, guys. I ain't ashamed to tell you. I have, a, I have hair, a lot of hair. Um, a lot of hair. But I don't have a lot of edges because I have pulled my hair. I've worn my hair up so long. I have some edges, but not a lot of edges. So, I love to wear my hair up, and I just have to do the best I can. But when you wear your hair up, and you put your earrings on, that's classy. That's a pretty look. And I love to wear my hair up, guys. I do. It's because I got my hair braided that is down. But I like updos. I like to take my hair. I'll do the hair in the front, my, hair, my natural hair in the front. And I'll pull the hair in the back up and pin it up. And that way my earrings can show. And it's just, I guess, define my face a little bit more. But that's why... I buy pearls. That's why I buy different type of studs. That's why I buy Gucci studs and Chanel studs because I like to wear my hair up. Yep. But this is this, guys. These are the Tiffany Pearl earrings, guys. So, guys, I think that's going to end the Tiffany video for us. My next video, like I said to you guys, is entitled um, GG World of Pearls because I was telling you guys, pearls have changed. And let me show you what I mean. This is a genuine pearl necklace, guys. You see, it? this is a beautiful pearl here. It's kind of lump bump. I call it lumpy bump. But I love it. And it's slightly in a dome shape. Yes, this is an actual piece of pearl, guys, on a sterling silver chain. All right, we're going to talk about this in the world of Gigi's World of Pearl video. And, guys, look. This is a pearl ring. Can you see it? This is an actual pearl ring. Look at the shape of it, guys. Look at the shape. This is a pearl ring, guys. A genuine pearl ring. Yeah, look at the shape, guys. Let me move over. Can you see it? This is a genuine pearl ring, guys. Yes, we're going to talk about that. And, guys... Let me show you something. Now, I know it's a lot of sister are wearing beads, right? So Gigi are wearing pearls. They have pearls just like the beads. Look how pretty, guys. These are actual pearls. Yes, these are pearls. Aren't they pretty? Aren't they pretty? They're pearls. And let me show you how they look. Let's see, can I get them back on? Look, they're pearls. Yeah, ain't that pretty? So we will talk about all of these in the next video, all right? And you guys will be surprised where I buy a lot of my pearls from. You're gonna be surprised. You may start checking that site out and you might find that you like it, guys, all right? All right, guys, so that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed our Tiffany video. It was a requested video. I hope I did okay with giving you guys um, some information about the jewelry. And, and information about the prices. I hope I really did. I hope I satisfied that individual needs that wanted to know more about my Tiffany collection, okay? Guys, thank you so much for coming back to see me. Thank you for, you know, to all those that have subscribed to my channel. Thank you for stopping by to even just take a inch of your time out to watch my videos with me and for me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you so much for um, sharing my videos. Thank you for hitting the notification buttons. Thank you for saying like, like, clap, clap, like, like. Thank you for that. I really do. And I pray that God bless you and keep you. One more thing. Pray for my family. We lost my nephew. He was a very loving, the loving person. He was the kind of person that walk in your house and say, hey, auntie, and kiss me on this cheek every time. I have never seen him 
that he did not come up to me and say, hey, auntie, and kiss me on my cheek. Yeah. Humble. He was a very humble young man. Very humble individual, guys. So pray for my family. If you're on Facebook, go to the Fortson Family Value or anybody that says Fortson, and you will see it. And just give my family their condolences, okay? We love you guys, and we sincerely appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.